All right, hello YouTube. Uh, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys my complete Sword Art Online collection. I recently picked up the uh, season one, two, Gun Gale, and the movie. And this is the one that I first purchased because uh, I had started to hear really good things about Alicization. And since I only had the last one, my collection felt incomplete. So I decided to just go ahead and purchase uh, the rest of these. But um, without further ado, let's get into it. So uh, I'll start off with season one. Uh, this is probably, I think this is the only one that I've seen. And I remember really enjoying the first season. Um, up to a certain point, I mean, ah, oh, crap. So again, this is one of the older editions where it's taped up. So once you remove this, it's really hard to make it look nice again. But we have to cut the tape here. All right. So yeah, I remember watching the first season and I really enjoyed the first part. And then the second part with the elf um, world or video game, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I mean, similarly to everyone else, I felt it was a little boring compared to the first arc. Uh, but yeah, here's the first all 25 episodes. Bonus content. So yeah, just the standard bare bones bonus content, nothing special, and package and inserts. So yeah, I mean, I know that these um, had initially um, an individual, like there were several sets for each season, and those limited edition box sets looked nice. I think they were actually nicer than this one. Um, but to get all of those would have been much more expensive. Um, so I decided to just go with the um, with the complete season one box set and complete season two box set, um, as opposed to buying the individual releases of the limited editions. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna take off this J card, and in the back. So you see, this one looks much nicer than that kill the kill box set. I mean, yes, it just has the episodes, but at least I don't know. They kept it minimal, and then these sort of, the art they put back here actually makes it look pretty nice. So yeah, even though it's pretty bare bones, it still looks nice. I like it. And then here's the spine. Sword Art Online Blu-ray Disc Box. I don't know what this, I guess that's the name of the, of the video game. I don't even remember it being called that. I thought it was called SAO. But Aincrad and then Fairy Dance. Or maybe that's just the name of the of the arc. I don't know. But oh yeah, we didn't even look at the front. So the front is really nice. I actually really like this front art. Uh, so the back is just a right, it's just like the matte um, cardboard box. But then all of the images sort of have this like shiny effect to them. Which I've noticed a lot of, um, I guess a lot of editions do that. Because I've noticed a lot of limited editions that I've been unboxing lately um, have this effect. But yeah, it looks really nice in this case. And I do remember watching it. I really didn't like Asuna. She was really, really cute and pretty cool. All right. So let's take a look at this first. So package illustrations. So for this complete season one box set, they just give you one card which has all of the art cards that I think the individual box set actually had art cards for. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Like I wish they would have also given us all the art cards, but I guess that's how they justify lowering the price just a little bit. But I'm gonna pan through these so you guys can take a look at all the art that was used. Alright, oh look, at least we get somewhat of an art card here on the back. 
All right. And then the disc sets, um, I know that, I think this is the art that was on the actual box set. Um, so they were really colorful. I remember, I remember that. Uh, so here, I don't even know which disc this is. I think this is um, for the first set. Yeah, disc one. I do like the art. I mean, instead of characters, they actually chose locations to put on the on the art, which looks pretty nice. I do like it. And then here's the art on the back, which also looks pretty nice. So four episodes there, three episodes here. So still Aincrad, Aincrad, however you want to pronounce it. Disc three. And then disc four. So yeah, that was the first set. Oh yeah, you could definitely tell here. Now we're going into the elf world. And that was the creepy weirdo that everyone, I think everyone hates. <laughs> and then here's the bag. And yep, that's when she had her in chains, or he had her in chains. And then here's disc five. Disc six. Oh wow, there's, there's quite a few discs in here. I thought there would be less. Disc seven and disc eight. So I, I do like the way all these discs look. And I like the fact that there's artwork on the back of each of these cases. So, so far I'm pretty happy with these release, this release. And then here's this one, which I think this is an OVA. Um, we'll take a look. But yeah, it looks like this is a beach episode. And we're on the beach, right on the island. And extra edition. So, I don't know. I think there's an OVA in here. But that island there looks pretty nice. <laughs> Let me take a look at this again. So it features all 25 episodes and extra edition. I don't know what that extra edition means. It doesn't say OVA or anything. All right, I guess I'll find in, find out when I put the disc in. But. Let's put everything back inside and we'll move on to season two. All right, so here is season two. Sword Art Online, is that? Oh, that's on the box. I don't remember that being in season one. It's kind of weird that they put it there in the middle. Seeing you that here. All right, I don't know if I like that, but all right. So here we have Sword Art Online 2, then it says Gun Guild Online. Hmm. All right, so here's the spine and in the back. Again, linear, stereo, audio. Bare bones, standard bonus content. You know what, now that I look at this, I don't think I ever, I ever look, I ever saw season two. I always thought that the elf arc back there was season two, but yeah, I, I never saw this one. So maybe this one is actually Good? I don't know. Let me let me let me know your guys' thoughts. So this one they actually started to use um, the newer plastic covers. Let's 
take this off. Ooh, I do like the art back here. It looks pretty nice. With the gold color here on the, on the border. But again, they put Sword Art Online 2 in the middle. I don't know what this means. A L O. Okay, let's get inside. And let's take a look at this first. So here's all the art cards that you would have gotten. Oh, I do remember, I remember seeing that. Kirito is actually a girl in the game on this one. Which is pretty weird. But I guess it's pretty normal. A lot of guys choose to play as girls in video games. And this art here is actually pretty nice. I do like this art. Moving on to the Blu-ray cases, we have this one here. So this artwork is starting to mimic what I saw on the Alicization box set. I remember the Blu-ray cases looking similar to this. Oh man, so there's nothing on the back. So yeah, so far I like Blu-ray set one better because at least there was art on the front and the back of each of these cases. Maybe I just opened it up wrong. We'll see. So again, the discs are nice. They have um, nice art on the back there. I mean, on the disc. But this one actually has no art on the back. Same thing here, no art, just a gold background, which looks nice. I mean, it, does, it doesn't look bad. It's a good contrast with the discs. But let's take a look at these. Maybe these will be a little different. So the animation here actually looks pretty bad, to be honest. I hope the anime doesn't look some similar to, to any of this. I hope that's just the art they decided to go with for the art cover. But yeah, I don't like the way that this art looks on here. And then here's the spine. Caliber. And yep, no art on the back. So yeah, I have a feeling they're all going to be like this. No art on the back, but there is art on the disc. That looks crazy, I don't know what that is. At first I thought it was like a storm or something, but I think it's like some sort of bone or something. I don't know. All right. And then finally this one here. So again, I think that's Kirito. And I'm not sure who this is. Yeah, Kirito loves his swords. This art here does look pretty nice though. I mean, it went back to standard animation. But uh, I was hoping the back would have art. But nope, it doesn't. So Phantom Bullet. I guess this arc is a little bit longer than these two because it has it's a little bit thicker and it has more discs. So on this one, they chose a silver background. But again, all the discs have art and they all look pretty nice. Nope, back there. All right, that was season two, which definitely was a little, I mean, I mean, it's still a nice box set. I do like the box in the front. I really like this artwork here in the back. Um, but overall, I think I prefer this one so far. Now let's take a look at the Gun Gale Online. So for some reason, this one has two sets. Um, I never saw that they actually released a set, a complete set for Gun Gale Online. So I went with these and I don't remember, I think each of these were about 60 bucks. So 120 total for both of these. Um, so the first set here, 
this one doesn't have sort of that cardboard feel to it. It has more of like a plastic feel to it. Um, similar to the individual releases of the one I got today series. Uh, but yeah, here's the back. Set one has six episodes and a bonus episode. But when you remove that, it just has a pattern here on the back. Not really any art. But this front art does look pretty nice. So in here you get sort of like a trading card game card. And uh, you get a booklet and some art cards. So let's take a look at the booklet first. This is the first one that comes with a booklet. Those two didn't even come with a booklet. But yeah, you guys know me. I really do like these booklets. Um, this one is nice. It has a bunch of art. I like how they put that silver bar behind some of these. Um, basically behind everything that has art behind it. I mean, in front of it. So yeah, I do like this booklet. It's pretty nice. It has all the guns, all the names of all the guns. I guess this series has a lot to do with guns and they even have descriptions of each one of these. So I never saw this one either, but I did hear good things about Gun Girl Online. So I am looking forward to eventually watching that. So here's the Blu-ray case. No art, they just went for like standard print uh, with some patterns. And then here's the disc. So they're keep, at least they're keeping consistent with the art that they're using. And then same thing on the back, just that same pattern. Oh, and I just realized that these things, GGO, I guess that means Gun Gale Online. So yeah, pretty cool. Although that color is weird. I feel like they just used a different shade. But I don't know, that's a weird color there. It is, that's a little different from everything else. And then here are the art cards. I think there's more than one, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it. It's pretty thin though, so there's not that many art cards in here. So here's the first art card. Here's the second one. And I do like the fact that this, the logo here on the back is kind of shiny. So it makes it look pretty cool. That's it. So there's three art cards total. Now let's take a look at set two, which I imagine will probably look really similar to the first set. Um, so yeah, here's some art frames on the back here. And I don't know, I think in this one, I don't know if Kirito is involved in this one at all. Or maybe he is that, that girl. I don't know, we'll find out. All right, so let's take off the J card. And yep, the back is pretty similar to set one. got a few art cards. Again, I'm pretty sure there's three in there. A booklet and then the Blu-ray case. So So in this one it looks like they used the same art as the front cover, but at least on this one, oh never mind. It is the same as the art on the front. Never mind. All right, so let's look through this one. So again, 
Some more art. It's weird, I mean, I'd imagine they have the same character, so do they have the same character arts on here? Do they have different guns displayed on here? Maybe. Let's see if I don't see, yeah, I don't remember seeing these guns on there. That looks like an interesting sniper. Hmm. To be honest, it looks kind of like a water gun, right here at least. So yeah, I guess they are different guns than they showed on the first art book. But yeah, this one definitely doesn't have as much character art, I'm assuming because they're all already on the first one, on the first um, booklet for set one. Well, this art here in the back does look pretty nice though. So that's the booklet for set two. Uh, let's open the art first, first here. Mm, I like this one for some reason. I like how that smoke looks. It looks pretty cool. Hmm. I wonder if that's Kitty Doll. I don't know, but he looks like the bad person in this anime, so I don't think it is. But, all right, now let's move into the case. So this one has the brown color, which is, I don't know, I don't like the brown color. And then here's disc one and disc two. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video really quick so I can clean all of this up and then we'll move on to the next set. All right, everything's cleaned up now, so let's move on to the movie. I think this is Ordinal Skill. I don't know if I have this actually in the right order. I don't know if this, you need to watch this after season two and then Gun Girl Online and then Alicization, but I think this is the way they were released, so. Uh, this one's next and I really actually really like the, the art they used in the front. Kirito looks pretty cool along with his sword here and then all of these little particles here have like a shimmer effect. So that's a really nice front art. And then this, the spine is just the movie, ordinal scale. And then on the back, it looks like it has just the same art with some text in front of it. So let's open this up. Oh, this is actually just a J card. So yeah, if I remove it, you can see this one here. So I don't know if that's a different character. I think so, it doesn't look like it though. So I'm not sure who that is. Maybe he's the antagonist of this movie. And the sword is actually also different. So it's not entirely the same. This sword actually looks a lot cooler. Uh, but yeah, they both do have that shimmer effect, which looks pretty cool in my opinion. And then I didn't notice this, but the, the spine, the text also has that shimmer effect, which is pretty cool. So far, I, I kind of like this set, it's pretty nice. All right, so now going in here, oh, this is this is different. It's not a Blu-ray case, it's sort of like a, like a digibook. And then we get this thing from Aniplex and a really thick art book. So it's kind of interesting that a movie has a much thicker box, I mean, booklet than I think any of the sets, even Alicization didn't have a huge booklet. But this movie does, and I know that that's the art that they use on the standard release, which is pretty nice, honestly. It looks pretty cool. Uh, if you look closely, it looks like there's like a normal city view, and then behind um, Asuna, it's like a destroyed or a city that's being destroyed, and it looks pretty interesting. 
let's take a look at it. It's just a game, or so I thought. So yeah, there's actually quite a lot of art in here. Um, I don't know what all this is. I think it's going through the entire series. Maybe it's like a timeline. Yeah, that looks. I think that's what it is. So this is the order that you should probably watch it. So yeah, it looks like season one, part two of season one, and I think this was season two. Caliber, there was three sets there. Yep, Mother Rosario. And yeah, so you have to watch Original Scale after the end of season two. I didn't see any gun gill online in there, unless I missed it. No. All right. So um, this, it's pretty interesting. This kind of looks like an ad for an actual video game or something, but it's part of the show. So I guess that's the new technology that they use in this one. I need to go a little quicker because this video is being going to get a little too long. So Asana looking cute as always. Pirito looking pretty gay in my opinion. <laughs> Let's keep going through this. These are a bunch of different characters. A bunch of text here. Some monsters from the video game I'm assuming. Two-headed dragon. And then just some more uh, character art. Doing us one Boss monster, monster. What's this here? That's interesting. I don't know. That's sort of like staff comic. So I guess this is some text from the staff, which. I guess I'd have to use Google Translate to figure out what all that says. Hmm. I guess they got, um, I know that that's the Google Oculus or something like that. It looks like it. Illustration gallery. So a lot of the art for this anime it looks really nice. I always like the, the art style. It's pretty good. As you guys can see from these poster arts. Alright, so yeah, that was a pretty thick book there. Now let's take a look at this thing, which um, is the only time that I think, yeah, I've already opened the rest of this. Sort of Online only did this for this movie. Um, but yeah, I'm not complaining. I mean, it looks pretty nice. Um, this over here sort of has like that shiny effect. It's like plastic. And then, but the characters, this is really different. I've never seen something like this. This is sort of like a, I don't even know how to explain it. But it feels different and it looks pretty cool. I like the way this one looks. And then here's the back. That's the guy that's in the back of the case over here. Yep, looks like him. And you open it up like a book, and here's the disc. So everything is pretty cool, but the discs on this one are pretty plain compared to the rest of all of these. Uh, but, yeah, regardless, now this is a pretty unique uh, edition. I really, I really like it actually. Um, if you guys have seen this movie, uh, I think I heard pretty good things about it, so I'm sure it'll be pretty good. Um, uh, the spine there, it doesn't have anything, it's just silver there. Just noticed that. But I guess it gets covered by this, so yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool set. I like it. All right. So I think that's all I'm gonna unbox. I think I already have a separate unboxing video 
of um, Sword Art Online Alicization. Um, so if you guys want to see that, go back and look through my thumbnails. There will be a thumbnail with uh, Sword Art Online on it. It was part of a collection update. Um, I didn't do an individual unboxing of it, but I did go through it pretty thoroughly in that video. Um, but yeah, I thought this set was pretty cool too. All of the discs, I mean the Blu-ray cases, had nice art on it. And yeah, I'm looking forward to finally going through, watching everything, and finally catching up on Sword Art Online. I kind of stopped watching it because of all the hate, but I like to have my own opinion and go in there and watch it myself. Uh, so far, I do agree that the second part of season one wasn't that great. I did like the first part, however, so uh, maybe throughout watching these, I'll probably like some parts and on these parts as well. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I know this was a pretty long video. Uh, most of you guys probably won't watch the whole thing, but I wanted to do it regardless. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.